good morning guys welcome back to the channel um, in today's upload I'm gonna take a break from the Jeep um, and we are going to focus today on the white truck um, so uh, I got a bunch of Adams polishes stuff uh, a couple new things that I want to try out and a couple things that I didn't that I ordered and haven't tried yet so with that being said I'm gonna go in here and uh, you can see this thing is filthy. I mean, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, this thing hasn't been clean on the inside since it was painted, but we're going to change that today. Um, also got a couple new things for the outside. So we're gonna see what we can do. Um, pull the truck down here in the yard to wash it. And let's see if the camera will pick it up. But all these little black streaks um, running down the doors. Same thing here and on the other side. But let's we'll see if we can clean this thing up today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I already kind of kind of rinsed it off earlier at the car wash try to get all the big mud and stuff off of it but no sandpaper brush for the pearl paint job but I'm gonna get started and I'll update y'all here in a second those are the streaks that I talked about all down the side of the truck I guess it's just from the rain but I'm gonna get started okay guys so I haven't washed this side of the truck I got the front and uh, the driver's side, you can see, pretty clean. Um, now one thing I really love about white vehicles, um, for instance, my hood was, you know, you could tell it was dirty because it's got little, little black marks in it um, from the tree. But, let me see if I can, can y'all see the difference right there? hasn't been washed and then washed there's like a, a uh the camera might not pick it up but you can kind of see it right here the line right there is all black from uh how dirty this thing was now just looking at it while ago you couldn't even tell um but i thought i would point that out um and also <laughs> the uh the downside to having everything painted like this <coughs> is I can't get under there to wash so um, when this truck goes in for paint correction I'm gonna see if Thomas will pull the uh, wiper arms off and uh, polish under that uh, under both the wiper arms but I like washing this thing. I used to wash this thing like every other day. <coughs> and it's been a while now. But um, car shampoo, Adam's car shampoo as always, does a fantastic job. All right. Now that the truck is all washed, now what I'm going to do is uh, take my Adam's polishes drying mitt. Just going to go around dry the truck off get all the water off of it um, especially on the other side where the sun is it's shining on the truck just get all the hard water off of it that way we don't have any water spot issues you can see just like that in a matter of seconds the whole side of the truck is dry um, I'm going to kind of demonstrate on the tailgate here is it's still got water spots all over it you're going to take it the logo out and you can see water spots here um, you just take it and then slowly glide it over like so as you can see completely dry just like that um, half the tailgate is dry <laughs> just in a matter of seconds with this uh, I will link this down below if anybody is interested in it um, I'm not 
sponsored by Adams, um, or none of that. So I'm not getting anything out of doing this video. I just wanted to show you guys the new products that I got. Um, but if anybody from Adams Polishes is watching this and you want to sponsor me, um, hit me up on Instagram or something. <laughs> But I'm going to continue here. You can see the whole side of the truck here is wet. Um, in just a matter of seconds, it'll be dry. Um, now, another thing as I'm doing this, don't apply a ton of pressure. As you can see, dry already um, with this. Now, I wash this every time I uh, get done just to make sure you don't trap any dirt in it or anything like that. Also, try not to touch your tires with this, um, just so you don't drag anything into this and then into the paint. Okay, now that the truck is completely dry all over, now what I do is I go over it with a uh, detail spray and one of the double soft mitts and uh, make sure you didn't leave anything behind. I've already went over it, so it's nice and smooth. Um, make sure not on any water spots or none of that um, and I also went over this truck I thought I recorded it but apparently the GoPro did not save it but I went over it with the clay mitt and then back over it with this just to make sure I didn't miss anything and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try out their new spray wax and see um, if I remember correctly the uh, spray wax hasn't been available very long so uh, I ordered some and we're gonna see how it does um, and that will be all for the exterior I don't want to put anything over the spray wax so I want to see how the spray wax truly does also I thought I would mention the uh, the new Adams spray wax here is very similar to the color of detail spray as you can see here it's just a little bit darker um, i haven't even all i did was i put the spray nozzle on this bottle um, and another double soft mitt and go out here this is all my adams polishes stuff here in this box but nonetheless i'm going to give this but like i was saying before the camera died i'm going to give this a shot and see how it does. I normally use um, ceramic boost and buttery wax, but I want to see how this works. Um, so I'm going to do half of the fender and see if there's any noticeable difference. Okay, so I got a little carried away on the fender, but um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up at all, but I did half of this half of the door is spray wax this half of the door has nothing on it and it seems as if there's a little bit more pop out of this very smooth very smooth um, this has got a little bit of a uh, tack to it because I just went over it with the uh, the clay mitt but I will have to say very impressed because that is very smooth and if you come over here to the side still good reflection out of it like I said, the truck needs buffed really bad. Um, as you can see, it's got some trash in it from paint, but you know, you're gonna have that wherever. A um, little bit of dryer out there. But anyway, I'm gonna get done because um, I actually have to go here in a little bit and get a couple things done. Um, but I'll see y'all here in just a second. Okay guys, so just finished up the uh, spray wax on the outside and like I said, very good reflection. I'll come over here on the other side, that way you're not getting all the sun. Very good reflection, even for the truck not being buffed, um, still very nice, very nice around you can see right there very good 
Um, I'm very impressed. Now, on to the interior. Because um, as I showed y'all, the interior of this truck is a mess. Um, so what I got is another Adams towel and their pumpkin spice detailer. I ordered this back around Halloween and uh, I've never used it. So this is going to be new for me and y'all. So uh, I'm going to do half of this door panel. Try not to get carried away because this door panel has got all kinds of stuff on it um, from not being clean in so long. But I'll get back with y'all here in just a second. Alright guys. Um, wow. <laughs> That's all I can say really is wow. You can see this is the old... Uh, let me block this on. This is before and after. Before and after right there. This stuff works amazing. Look at that. I don't think it's ever been this clean since I've had it. Um, and on the handle here. As you can see right there it's just amazing um, now what I ended up using because this won't get down into the the pores and stuff in the material is I used one of their uh, I guess it's like a foam block and you can really get down into the pores of the material and I'll show y'all soak that down a little bit not a whole lot you don't need a whole lot and uh, okay, like this door plate, y'all can see right there how dirty that is. Work this in a little bit, I'm gonna show y'all on camera, no tricks. I'll set that aside, grab your other dry towel, and just wipe it away. And just like that right there you can see the difference so before and after I'm amazed um, I'll get some pictures of the driver's side the driver's side is a whole lot nastier um, so I will get some more pictures for you guys but I must say I'm very impressed okay guys so Got this finished up in here, uh, and here it is. I'll put a picture up here on the screen of before. And now here this is. A whole lot better. I still, you know, need to get in here and in here and all that, but not bad at all. Now, one last thing to do. And I will be finished up. Is got to clean the intake. It, all, it looks good all the time, but it needs clean. Um, so I'm just going to grab this rag here and flip it over. Use the other side. And we will be good to go. Uh, one thing I like about this being powder coated, it is very tough. Um, and it looks very good under here. Kind of hard to reach all the way up in there, but I'll get that later. And look at that. I love this color. Um, without a doubt. That is my suspension color. And just like that, guys, we're finished up. Um, shut the hood. We're finished. Truck looks amazing. Adam's polishes always kills it, as you can see right there. Looks amazing. Um, super slick. Super smooth. Super slick. And the way the Adams does their stuff, I don't know what they do, but it is literally like magic. Um, 
especially on these door panels. I am very happy with the way these turned out. Still got to get some more in here, but um, very impressed. Very, very, very impressed. I got to finish up the dash here, but guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, let me move all this stuff out of the way so I can get to this. But that is all for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, I haven't said this in a while, but check out the giveaway, the 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I will link it down below as well for you guys. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope y'all have a great day. Okay, guys. Um, I wanted to add this to the video at the end real quick. Um, if there's any Adams Polish's products that you guys want me to try, um, sorry if it's echoey, I don't have a headliner, but um, if there's any Adams Polishes that you guys want me to try here on this channel, please leave a, a uh, comment down below and tell me what products and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. So again, thanks for watching guys, I hope y'all have a great day.